Hello my lovely and welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha, I'm a qualified personal trainer and health at every size verified provider. I'm passionate about getting accessible workouts to everyone and really promoting body positivity. For those of you who have been longtime supporters, thank you so much for all your love. And thank you to those who completed the survey to help me understand how I can improve my services and what direction I'd like to take in the future. In the survey, I inquired about a body positivity app and I got some fantastic feedback from you all. And I've decided to park the body positivity app and I'd like to come back to it one day. But as suggested from the survey and through some of the comments on this channel, I have decided to launch a Patreon page. Currently the work I do here is voluntary and as much as I'd like to keep doing it like that, I just can't. As you've seen, I upload quite sporadically. The equipment and resources I have are not that great. Um, and I do have long-term visions and goals for this channel, but they're only going to be possible if I get some support. Now, you don't have to join me on Patreon. I appreciate not everyone can and not everyone wants to, and that is totally fine. There's all the other ways that you can support me and my channel. Just by watching the videos, you're supporting my channel. By subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and my favorite of all, when you leave a comment. Those comments just make my heart burst. They give me such such a connection with you, and they really help me to, to understand what, videos you like but most importantly the impact I'm having and there is nothing that gives me greater pride or joy so to all of those of you who have left a comment in the past thank you so much I love them and you can continue to support me by making comments if you'd like you can also support me on patreon I have three different membership tiers three dollars ten dollars or twenty dollars a month um, some of them just support the channel, like the $3 one, and others support the channel, but you also get bonuses like a weekly newsletter full of some resources, some inspirational quotes and workout ideas. And the last tier, the $20 one, also has weekly ana anatomy videos that'll unpack some pretty cool parts about our body with a focus on function and body positivity, of course. Now I'm not gonna yarn all day about like how awesome Patreon is. I'm just gonna leave the link below and you can check it out. You can also ask me questions directly if you like. So I'd like to tell you about my vision for the channel for the rest of the year. Pretty exciting. I've actually sat down and mapped out every single workout from today until the end of the year. I've looked at how I can help you improve your fitness with limited equipment, um, and how I can keep it fun and fresh and different types of fitness from mobility and flexibility to strength, muscular endurance and cardio. Trying to keep things fun with some dancing, trying to keep things interesting with different types of circuits. And so, as I've said, I've mapped it all out. And if you join me today in starting with these workouts and follow them through to the end of the year, you'll be progressively working on your own fitness. I'm starting at a really chill, low intensity, beginner friendly level today. So the next, I believe it's six weeks, we'll, six to eight weeks actually, we will be working on nice low intensity. Following that, the next few months will be moderate intensity and then the last few months, high intensity. And of course, you know the rules, you know that you are in charge of the workout, not me. I'm only here for suggestions. So if one day you wake up and you're like, you know what, I'm actually not vibing what Tash is putting out there, you do whatever you want to do. Maybe it's an old video, maybe it's the video I have and you're just going to put your own spin on it. You're in charge of the workout, my lovely. So without any further ado, how about we get started in today's practice, a nice low intensity movement and mobility workout. 
Okay, my lovely. So we're going to get started with some simple breathing. So the purpose and intention of our breathing is to bring ourselves into the moment. Remind ourselves that this is our protected time to exercise. We're not being selfish. We're filling our cup because we cannot pour from an empty cup. We are also going to use the breath to start um, doing some dynamic stretches for some pretty important muscles in our tummy, core and our back. Um, so by taking really deep breaths, I want us to focus on stretching our spine up and I want us to focus on letting our rib cage expand outwards, forwards and backwards. How I like to do this is I set my feet um, hip width apart. I make my knees nice and soft and I just think that there's a piece of string on the top of my head pulling my spine up. My shoulders are relaxed and as I breathe in I allow my arms to come out. It's as if I'm, I don't know, like my, my arms are connected to my ribs somehow and as I bring my ribs and uh, my arms up my ribs follow also. So I take a breath in and my ribs come in, out. So join me in this we're going to do a few of them get settled let's start by taking a deep breath in and out and as you breathe out just relax the muscles in your face and your neck let all that tension melt away again Again, coming to space, connecting with body, soft knees. Again, really expand that rib cage. I hope you're enjoying the lovely sounds of the air entering my nostrils. <laughs> Again. Let's do one more really big deep breath. All right. So we're just going to start moving side to side. You'll notice that I'm not really picking up my feet, I'm just transferring my body weight from left to right. So if you were doing this in a chair, same thing, just move your body weight from the left to the right. And you can see I'm starting to add some hands. I love this kind of hand movement. Um, as I do this, I am just envisioning like a willow tree, um, sometimes even some uh, long eucalyptus trees with really long low branches do this. And just waving in the wind while my trunk stays strong and grounded. Now you can envision you're doing a few different things here. You know, maybe you're, uh, you know, clearing the space. Maybe you're testing your mobility and range. So as you can see, I'm doing that right now and I'm actually starting to make my arms a bit bigger now. And they're coming up, around and down, up, around and down, yeah? And now they're going to start changing and I invite you to change with me. They're going back and back. And so now we're starting to work on opening up our chest and our shoulders. And I want you to make your weight transfer just a little bit more um, mild and make the elbow straighter and now all of a sudden you're doing backstroke <laughs> and I just want you to feel how nice it feels to just stretch those arms maybe you've been sitting at a computer desk all day maybe you've been driving maybe it's been that time of the month and you have been on the couch just resting 
and all of a sudden this movement is nourishing and that is what I want the goal of your exercise with me today to be nourishing and just a reminder that some days a nourishing um, workout is hard and intense and sweaty and sometimes it's standing in your living room doing backstroke and just gently swaying Whoop. hit the plant on the way all right I'm gonna start doing one of my favorite movements you are going to give yourself a hug because you are wonderful and awesome and you're gonna just give yourself a little squeeze and say thank you for giving me the time and space to move today and then you're going to open up the arms lift the chest elongate the spine look up and just greet the world here I am and again a little hug and this one's from me thank you for watching I really appreciate it. Little squeeze there, thanks. And open up. Hello, here I am in my pajamas, in my workout gear, in my work uniform. Doesn't matter. Another little squeeze. Maybe this one is from a friend or a family member that you really miss. Give them a hug and open up. And just stretch try not to lean too far back on your back don't want to injure that lower back think tall as well as open yeah one more hug and once again this one is for yourself thank you body for getting me through what I've needed to get through thank you and open oh all right so now I'm going to try and work fingers, wrists, arms, then we're going to do neck to toe, yeah? So excuse me while I roll up my sleeves. And we're just going to use the wrists. Now you'll still find, like I'm still swaying, you're more than welcome to do that as well. I just find it soothing. It's my soothing movement. And around we go the other way. And up and down. And side to side. Shake it off. All right, we're gonna play a little bit of piano. If you actually play piano, I'm very sorry for my piano mimicking skills. <laughs> and if you want, scale up and down the piano so you get a little bit of shoulder movement going, yeah? Scale. Scale, that's it. All right, now you're going to pick up some bad juju in the world and flick it elsewhere. Pick it up, flick. Pick it up, flick. I'm not flicking it on you, I'm flicking it over and beyond you. <laughs> pick it up, flick. Bad juju, bad vibes bad stiffness in the fingers tell it to shove off it's not welcome here this is your safe space all right all right bit of a shake in the wrists let's get our elbows moving so very simple like a bicep curl so we're getting our biceps warm and our triceps warm we're just going to do a few of these that's it And now we're going to reach up to the sky and all the way down, up to the sky. So I do like starting my movements as we did from the very start, which was that whole, um, use the whole body sway. I just feel it prepares me for this kind of stuff. And I hope it's prepared you as we reach even taller and come down. Can we reach once more really tall and down? I'm going to turn my body this way so you have a different view. And this time I'm just going to go forwards and backwards. 
So really focusing on just the shoulder movement right now. So I'm not really trying to lean back with my knees or my back. I'm pretty still in my trunk. I am just exploring my shoulder range. I'm increasing the blood flow in the shoulder. And uh, yeah, just enjoying it for what it is. A few more. That's the way. All right, bit of a shake. Shake, shake, shake. All right, let's do some neck stuff. So just nice and gentle at the moment. Let's just go around once, one way, nice and slow. And the other way, hair in your face and all. <laughs> Elegant. And now we're going to turn our heads as if we're saying no to diet culture. I'm not having any of that crap today. And now we're going to say yes to radical self-love because that is the way that we smash the patriarchy and the way that we can live a better fulfilled life full of love and happiness and kittens. All that there, Rob. Right. So just a little bit of a shrug up and down. Now I really want to point this movement out. This is what I call my reset movement, particularly when I'm doing strength work. So maybe after a few different rows, I'm going to reset and I want you to come with me. Feet hip width apart, knees soft, tall spine. You're going to roll your shoulders forward up to the ears, back, and now the chest is open, and down. And then they're gonna come down and forward just a little bit, so you're in a, still like a, a chest open position. I'll just show you what it looks like from the side. So my chest is still open. The alternative is, you know, you're here. I'm not there, I'm here. Boobs out to the world proudly. Okay, so let's do it again. Squeeze together, forward, up, back, round and down. And all of a sudden we're reset. And do one more. Tall spine the whole way through, let's go. <sighs> reset. All right, we can do a little bit of spinal mobility, not too intense. Um, so I'm going to start with hands on hips and this is a little bit more hip but it does involve a little bit of spine and we're just going to take our hips round in a glorious circle and once again if you have been sitting all day you will know how nice this one feels really good oh yeah and we're ready to do the other way let's go and we're back there, woo, losing the balance. <laughs> Whenever you stumble, don't shame yourself, I'm not. Don't judge yourself, I'm not. You just stumble, it happens. And believe it or not, stumbling is your body helping you. Okay, I want you to remember that. All right. We're going to do some pretty funky movements. Um, we'll start with a fairly simple twist. Now, I would like to highlight um, with some previous knowledge that I have in my allied health um, days. I'm not a huge fan of twisting the spine, particularly as we get older. So whenever I twist the spine, it's on the odd occasion and I do it first and foremost with a spine that's tall. Okay, you want to elongate your spine to alleviate any pressure. The other thing I do is that I don't do a huge range. So I want you to imagine you're standing inside a clock. Your hips are going to stay 12 o'clock and your shoulders are going to move to 1 o'clock and then 11 o'clock. And that's what we're going to do. Now, if you're feeling confident about twisting and rotating your spine, by all means, go further. For me personally, 
this is good, particularly right now as kind of warm up, gentle mobility workout. If I was perhaps doing something a little bit further down the track, maybe 20 minutes into a more moderate intensity workout, I may do a bit more. But of course you have to listen to your body and apply the knowledge you have about your body. And if you're not sure if it's risky, seek a professional, personal trainer, physiotherapist, exercise physiologist, or your local doctor. Have a chat, okay? Really important that the exercise nourishes you, doesn't injure you, all right? And we're gonna finish up here. All right, the next one we're gonna do, similar concept, similar thing that I don't really like doing. Um, just a red flag, if you've got scoliosis, do not do this one. Um, please see a physiotherapist who specializes in scoliosis. There are some amazing exercises you can do, and this is not one of them. So feet hit with the part. Once again, nice, tall spine. You're gonna keep your hips where they are and you're gonna reach up with one arm. I'm gonna use my left right now. So I'm really thinking tall with my left and I'm just gonna come over just a bit. And I want you to imagine your right hand or the other hand that's down here has a briefcase of bricks and it's coming down even more. All right, and I'm gonna swap sides. So first, Reach up, stretch up, number one, okay? Really think tall, briefcase of bricks in the other, come over. All right, we're gonna do it two more times each side. Reach up, stretch up. Mm. Reach, stretch. Ooh. And again, reach stretch and you know if any of these movements are causing you discomfort or pain please stop you can always get a personal touch with a personal trainer give it a bit of a shake and our last movement probably probably the most complex spinal movement um, one of my favorites I used to do it um, in both types of dancing I used to do actually so you're going to imagine that you're like um, Han Solo trapped in um, that carbonite, that frozen carbonite, you know how it's like, uh, and the thing is you're going to imagine that from the pecs, uh, like the base of the pecs down. So for me, it's like where my bra starts, okay? So from where my bra starts down, is frozen in carbonite, it does not move. So I may turn on my core a bit to keep it that way. And then everything above is gonna translate this way. Please note, it's not the arms moving, okay? It is this entire section as if you are like one of those slidey books, you know the books when you're a kid and you pull the tab and it slides over? We're gonna do that. It takes a lot of practice to get really good at it. So. It's okay um, if you don't achieve the full range that you want, work small. So tall, knees soft, tummy muscles on, hand solo from bra down. All right, arms here. Let's just go a little bit over here, come back to the center and a little bit over there. Now what people tend to do without even realizing, their hip, goes in the opposite direction. So for example, people will start doing this. See how my hips literally just moved? I want you to keep the hips as still as possible and there's a lot of concentration involved. So if you need to close your eyes to do so, and like I said, this may not be a perfect movement, that's okay. Just having a bit of fun here. We're mobilizing, yeah? It's what today is about, mobilizing. And over, all right, have a bit of a shake. All right, we're gonna continue on down south and we're gonna start with um, good old favorite side taps. I love me a side tap. And all of a sudden my side taps have a bounce. <laughs> There's literally no music, but I automatically do this. Now, you may automatically do this with me you may be automatically doing a bit of a drag 
or maybe more of a step, whatever it is, whatever is feeling natural to you, rock it, okay? I'm gonna rock my side taps. Mm -hmm. And I want you to explore the space around you. So if you want to, use your arms a bit. If you wanna maybe do it on the spot, turn around. Check out the view outside the window there. Check out the dust on your blinds. Remind yourself you're gonna to have to do those when you do your clean. Say hello to the firm. Look at your body positive picture over there. <laughs> Maybe you got a fairy friend. Say hi to them. Confuse them and give them a proper like salute. See what happens. Keen to know. <laughs> All right. So you're back facing me and now we're going to make our side steps just a bit bigger. So as we do this, you may start to feel some warmth and a bit of tension in the sides of your hips. This is great. This means we're doing what we want to do, okay? So this is about getting um, some muscles moving and opening up some hip joints, yeah? Mm -mm. Now, if you're seated, you could still do this um, if you have the ability to do so. And that is literally move one leg out, move the other leg out. You might want to lean back in your chair a little bit more. You may want to brace with your arms a bit. And of course, you may want to use your tummy because when you do this sitting down, you have to use your core a bit to lift your leg up before it goes out, yeah? All right. And now we're just going to keep it to a march on the spot, okay? March on the spot. And for some reason, my marching has hips in it. And that's okay, that's me. Maybe your marching does, maybe your marching doesn't. Doesn't matter. All right. I'm gonna have a bit of a shake side to side. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And now we're gonna have a bit of a leg comes up. So I don't wanna call this marching because marching's a pretty consistent timing and our, our goal isn't necessarily to move our feet here. Our goal is to move our hips. And we're gonna do that by bringing our knee as high up as it can come, yeah? I lift it up. And as my friends who have been doing this workout in a chair so far can testify to this, as soon as you start lifting your leg, your core works. So let's help it out, yeah? Tall spine and turn that core on, give it a little little brace. And if you're not quite sure how to turn your core on, one of the best things you can do is cough, and it's like you press pause on the cough. So if you wanna cough with me right now and just literally stop it halfway through and notice the tension in your tummy, yeah? Let's do it. <coughs> feel that cough, feel that, that tension, yeah. Now let's do a few more. Ooh, are your legs feeling warm? All right, now let's kick the butt. Oh, so a couple uh, heel flicks, butt kicks. And once again, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. You'll notice that I really am focusing, bringing my heel up. It's not about reaching back, okay? I'm not hyperextending my back. I'm just kicking my butt. All right. Ooh. So we're gonna continue marching. This time, more of your traditional march. Knees not too high because I want this to be a little bit more about the ankles. We're gonna do a little bit more knee work and some ankle work and you know it's coming. If we've done a little bit of hip work, if we wanna do a bit more knee work and ankle work, what? could we possibly be doing next? You know it, you love it. It's your favorite girlfriend, it's the squat. So legs as wide as you like. I recommend wider than hip width um, to a point that just feels comfy for you. Focus on bringing your body weight backwards. There is a car door behind you. You got all the groceries in your hands. How are you gonna close it? Oh no, I'm gonna use my butt. Okay, I want you to incorporate a bit of that. So body weight backwards, dig your heels into the ground, come down, 
and up and I'm not sure if you heard that but there were a series of cracks not this time <laughs> I felt that in my I think it was my hips and my back but I'm not 100% sure just a little bit of nitrogen bubbles getting released so as you squat with me please make sure that your knees are not coming in like this okay if anything get the knees out yeah <laughs> dig your heels into the ground body weight backwards yeah and on your way up I want you to squeeze that butt yeah and here we go squeeze the butt cheeks together Ooh, let's do it again three more times squeeze and get ready squeeze one more time and squeeze all right come back to our marching this time once again focusing on the ankles a little bit more so what I'd like you to do is imagine you've got like a, a foot drop so your toes if you look at this side view your toes aren't coming up okay it's not marching up like this you're allowing your heel to peel off the ground peel off the heel peel off the heel so we're allowing our toes to kind of point down a little bit okay beautiful and now we're going to kind of do the opposite we're now going to get our toe to hit the ground heel down toe to hit the ground heel down toe heel toe heel toe heel toe heel yeah and can I just say this is the secret to hips in a lot of dancing so when we do do some dancing down the track and I'm like use your hips and you're like I don't know how this is literally how you do it toe to heel make that knee straight hip goes back <gasps> toe to heel make the knee straight the hip goes back <gasps> now we're not exactly trying to achieve this right now but if you want to give it a go your body I'm gonna give it a bit of a go because I just like the stretch feels nice Bam. So maybe even channeling a bit of Elvis. So the leg comes in front. <laughs> All right, let's keep it at a steady pace. Keep that blood flow going. All right, and then we're gonna heel tap in front. So this time pointing our toes towards our nose. Once again, if you're in the chair, you can do this point point that's the way perfect all right keep it coming a few more we're nearly there my lovelies we're gonna finish with calf raises and then we're going to tie up the ankles with some a little bit of rolling and then we're going to finish the way we started like a tree in the breeze all right you ready for this so calf raises if you need to hold on to something feel free to I'm um, I'm gonna hold on to something <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on to my windowsill here <laughs> because we're doing one leg at a time and then we're gonna do both legs so I want you to stand on let's say your left knees soft tall spine tummy muscles on and you are going to bring your heel up come down and we're going to do this 15 times three four five six seven eight nine 10 nearly there 11 12 13 14 15 and we're going to swap sides just going to move my hand a little bit all right you ready and again one try and make sure 
that your heel is coming straight down and that your ankle is not rolling out or rolling in, yeah? This is seven, eight, nine, 10 smooth transitions, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now we're gonna finish with just 10 calf raises together. Let's go, if your hands need to be here for balance, they can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, rolling the ankle, releasing any tension up and down, and wiggle the toes if you can. I find that very difficult. Okay, other side, around one way, around the other, which always takes a lot more thought. Up and down, tap into a beat, side to side, and wiggle the toes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish up the way we started, like a strong tree, flexible, flowing in the breeze, but a strong unwavering trunk. So feet are hip width apart, knees are a little soft, tummy muscles are on. And we can sway a little bit in the breeze. We can sway. We can move with life's current. We can dodge that negative feedback or we can take it on, whatever it is. We can move throughout our life and the world, but stay strong and grounded. I hope today's workout has brought you some joy and has helped you connect with your body and connect with your space. And I hope it's nourished you Thank you for coming today, for watching. If you'd like more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have the desire to and the time, leave me a comment. I love the comments. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, you now can. All the details are below. And we are going to finish with one big hug to ourselves to say thank you for putting aside the time. And then we're going to open up our chest and greet the world and move on with our day. So coming here, preparing with a deep breath. And we're going to take a breath in, give ourselves a hug, say thank you, thank you for showing up, breathe out, stretching up, and opening up to the world. Thank you so much for coming my lovely, until next time, stay safe.